And now, the brief history of drafts. Drafts. The tallest living mammals known to the mammals known as humans. Humans with their books and gummy worms. Drafts have long purple tongues that they use to eat leaves. Leaves that they use their extremely long necks to reach. Drafts evolved from Diplodocuses. Oh wait, no they didn't. Because ten trillion years ago, drafts weren't drafts at all. They were Jerifs, and they lived in peace in small tribes. Until one day, the Sternoclidomastoidians came forth from Matthew Gubler's neck and declared war upon the Jerifs. A fierce battle ensued. Victory seemed certain for the Jerifs, but the sheer numbers of the Sternoclidomastoidians began to overwhelm them. The Jerifs were soon to be doomed. But just when the battle was coming to a climax, there was a rip in the time-space continuum. A wormhole opened up and began sucking in the Jerifs and the Sternoclidomastoidians. Fortunately for Matthew Gubbler, his neck was long enough to wrap around a tree, and he was spared from such a fate. Nine trillion years later, the wormhole reopened. But what emerged was neither Jerif nor Sternoclidomastoidian. It was a creature so horrendous, so terrifying, so repugnant that the lions wouldn't even eat it. It would come to be known as... The Giraffe! Comment and subscribe for more episodes of Brief History.